Hello everyone! <laughs> um, today we're going to be continuing our adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. Um, so yeah, we looted everything, I think, and... I don't know. Wait. Okay. Alright, we're going to go... We're going to do a full night's rest. Long rest. Long rest. Yeah. I have enough supplies, you piece of crap. What's she doing? Looking ahead. All right. Well, we're gonna. Oh. A private word would be nice. What's on your mind? Nope. That's a magic mirror. Can't slow down. Um. Oh, wait, do I speak with animals on? I can take care of myself. I mean, I've gotten this far. Oh. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Nope. I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. All right, you're good. Ooh. Oh. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin coat smells like goblins. Ooh, more. All right, looks like I've just got to talk with her. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain, his, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others, someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. 
You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Open your mind to this sensation. Your mind joins with Shadow Hearts. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. Ooh. it something sparks in your memory teachings about Salunite rites of passage about how they would abandon their children out in the wilds and force them to find their way home it seems that one child never came back she was taken what who was that man you already know did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young, impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Um... Yeah, I'll help. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. Ooh. The Spear of Night? I thought it was cast into the Shadowfell. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Ooh. I Moon Spear of Night. Mm. Open enchant plus three. Moonbeam evocation. Wait, what's what's this? With wisps of moonlight. Make movement difficult for enemies to bolster your allies' damage. Hmm. 1d8, 1d6, plus 3. You gain advantage on wisdom, saving throws, and perception checks.
can't afford to stay idle. What garbage weapon? Oh, no, you don't have a garbage weapon. You actually have a decent weapon. Um... Let's get going. Okay. Um... I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he'd become. By killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. You and Aelin seem to have a lot of history. What happened? A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorn is, was, my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Um, certainly, there's magic in a look. That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. Mm -hmm. He become, he be, he become the chosen of Merkel. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now, said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. Um, so you lied who you were? Not who you were? Um, yeah. I did. Who would trust the next of kin of Catherick Thorm? But I have no more secrets. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well, just to be. Yeah. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Oh. Uh, closer? Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, most high. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Um... Mm. 
couldn't have done it without you. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Um... How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. You must face them. Oh. I will help. Eh. There's still a great deal I don't know uh, about you, I don't know. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Are you really Saloon's daughter? Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, <laughs> her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Um, hmm. Would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the dead three? Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Okay. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. Hmm. That's kind of full of herself, but... <laughs> Alright. How did you become trapped in Shadowfell? <sighs> Ketherick Thorn. Father of my one and only love. Enslaver of Dame Aelin. Catherick Thorm never did trust me, even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel, by her love for me. When she died, curse the day, the hour, we each of us mourned bitterly. But Catherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead. And we, we live! Okay. Being killed over and over again doesn't seem like the best thing. Hey, you, you, you. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Hmm. Oh, those are those are tags for other times. All right. Um. Yeah. I need a moment for the two of us. Shadowheart was no true child of Shah, merely a captive. She must have her vengeance. Ask Lysel about the disc from Moonrise Tower. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazel sees it too, and considers the vision. Tiersu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story. About... About Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazel's, But it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Tersu, you s does that mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. 
The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Who's Orpheus? A traitor. A dead one. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. Um, you bear it just fine. Just tell me what it says. Very well. I will read it to you. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver, that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon of Felamon. Vlacketh's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlacketh's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. This is more than a fable. It's an affront to the undying Queen Vlacketh. Gith's son died to Voss's blade. Orpheus is no more. So you say, but what if the story is true and the prince returns? You speak heresy. Thank your good fortunes I'm a tolerant woman, or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. Eh. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that was right. We had that stupid thing. All right. Um, spoke with her. With that. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, what the f Okay. Um... They're just stealing everything? Cool. These boots have seen everything. I have more than 40. I'll select. Oh, exactly 40. Oh. I've been lied to my whole life and I was gullible enough to just believe it my parents are alive and I have to save them I think a part of me always knew that a part that Shah denied to me I don't want to say number one. You've been forced to live a lie. At least now the truth is starting to reveal itself. Indeed. 
But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. Um, and what's that? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. All right. I don't want to rekindle a relationship. Cool. All right, well. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. All right, so... The Absolute's cult has Ravengar. Where will they take him? Eh. Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies oh. on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. No, it's going to be infiltration. It's not going to be all out war. What do you know about Gortash and Gor Orin? I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know, or know of more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. All right. Um, Mazora said you said yeah. Zora said you can say what led to your pact and exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first a question: If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? Yeah, you kind of said that before, but what? Um. Um. I'd give my life. It meant. Keeping the residents As safe. would I. And more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon made its move. The cult of the dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. Um, the cult of the dragon infl infiltrated Baldur's Gate. To what end? To conjure the dragon queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were. Gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Give me one second. I gotta make sure. Okay, there we go. Allow Will to share his memory. In the looming shadow of the mount. Five groups of five figures, each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. 
Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Surely Mizora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zarya. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Sacrificing your soul to save the city was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your eye? In the battle of cult of the dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and away. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. Oh. After. He said only one word. Go. So I did. Damn. Yo, that's messed up. Oh, Daniel. Your path leads away from me, I sense. Be safe. Perhaps one day you will see the fruits that your victory has sown here. <sighs> Random mage. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw forth whatever vengeance she desires. About before, I'm sorry I had to come to a choice between you and Carla. I, um, thought you would show me the respect of telling me first, but no matter. You can tell me now. Who is it to be? Me or her? Oh, God damn it. Um, I'm sorry, Gail. I want to be with her. Don't <laughs> be. She has a good heart. Poor phrasing. She has a terrible heart. <laughs> but you're surprisingly caring, considering it. Yeah. I won't leave. Not unless you want me to. Or until fate forces my hand. If your friendship is all we have, then I will be happy to have it. Eventually. Mm. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm glad to have you around. I'm lucky to have met you, my friend. Uh, okay. Um. Right back to her for a second. What can I do for you?
You got anything for me? So, it's a quest to free Shadow Heart's parents, is it? And here I was, worried I'd be the only one with a difficult family reunion waiting in the city. Hmm. Poor Shadow Heart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes. sometimes I wonder. Go on. Mm. I was hoping you'd say that. All right, um, there we go. And you know what? We're gonna... Leave camp. Um... That's exactly eh. screw up Moonrise Towers. Road to Baldur's Gate is up ahead. Oh wait, no wait, 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 wait. Start down that road.
out of my mind. All right. Well, in it. Oh wait. Um. Take the bed. Don't waste a step. Oh, I already got that. Okay, um... Everyone hates you. I am friend to all, little raven. There's no need to be cruel. You think the creatures of the realm owe you something just because you never shut up? They whisper about you, you know. Call you stupid and ignorant. They wish you were dead. <laughs> Still alive? How disappointing. Mm. This one is a murderer who walks free. She deserves to be punished. Or will you deny her victim's peace? What do I need to do? I seek a record of this one's crimes. A ledger written in her own hand. With it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial. Uh, where is this ledger? Go to the distillery. The one she calls the Waning Moon. Find it and bring it to me. And together, we shall meet out justice Oh no, crap. Overdue. Um. Nope. No time to dally. Nope. What now? There. Um, let's go to camp real quick. Because I'm pretty sure we have it. Holy shit, we have so much. Mm-hmm. We gotta sort we're gonna is this gonna be another sorting episode Everything. Oh, shit. I've got a long road ahead. Yep. I'm pretty sure I have something. 
The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. Tell me why you want it first. Wait, how do you know I have the ledger? The raven always knows. Tell me why you want it first. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. Here, take it. We have it. Her lies, her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. Um. You know what? Let's see what she has to say first. Careful. For a serpent in life is a serpent in death. Witness Okay He said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Why don't you tell me what happened? I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was going to chat with him. She promised. If it was just... If it was drunk complaining, why did you report them? The Dark Justice, you're said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. She but you don't say Adelich anything. And told them to press it against their stomachs on the count of three. To start stabbing. And not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. I don't want any of these options. Why isn't there like a third one or something? Ah, there's nothing you need to do. This wasn't your fault, I promise. I don't think that. I think you were stupid. I think you deserve something, but not like murder yourself. <sighs> no, I don't want them to stab or something. I don't want to say that either. Actually, I kind of do. Add bonus. Add guidance. Ooh, add void circle. Voice of the circle. Yep. Yeah. You're right. I'm a killer. A monster. I should have. Died instead. <gasps> Think what you did. Oh, glorious. <laughs> Look, my hand still shakes. You broke her most thoroughly. Well done. Uh, this was just some perverted. I want to keep buying in because it wasn't fun and she was punished. That's all that matters. If you are satisfied, then so am I. You have done well. Her pain and anguish were sublime. I will treasure it here. 
for your services? Should I find another murderer in need of torment, I shall call upon you. Farewell. Why do I feel like... Why, why do I feel like that was... Right, anyways, uh, summon both for the raven. Um, yeah, I like missile snaring more than I like that. <laughs> um, all right. And all was pleased. All right. to press ahead I'll take that too many fucking letters holy shit how much do I have to do your gloves do any oh no your gloves i just oh, I put on you for a good meal mm. still breathing despite everything it's a level three conjuration um uh. why do i why am i doing it the hard way
here's where. Okay. Eh. What can I do for you? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, this is gonna seem dumb, but can I just break this? Fair, that should be there is work to do. You're basically useless. All right, what now? At the ready. No time Actually, to rest. we're going to level up. Spells. Blight. Confusion. Minor con. Oh. Ooh. Freedom of movement. Ice storm was nice before. Hmm. Gained a oh, gained two spells that are always prepared. Ice storm, um, freedom of movement, confusion, light and wallfire, forge. I don't want to have a minor elemental. I'd rather have. I really want Ice Storm. Light. Oh, fire. Eh. Sure. 
Oh, it didn't go to spells? Um... Oh. Wait, do I have that? Eh, I can only cast one level four spell anyways. So not really caring too much. All right, um, and with that. I think that's gonna be it for right now. We did a whole bunch of um, minor things. Maybe. There's a lot of things telling me to go to Baldur's Gate. Wait. Um. Huh. Um, okay, okay, okay. Dialogues, tutorials, quests. Wait, oh. Um, main quest, Baldur's Gate, personal quest. Wait, are these completed ones? I'd complete it. There we go. That's the thing they should have freaking had a toggle on before. Not your allies. Your Duke. But yeah, no, anyways. Um, all right. So like my big thing is we're going to be stopping here right now. Um, but I have this question because you saw, um, when it was being enslaved, it really needed all three parts. And until, um, oh crap. What's his name? I know Markle is god on yeah whatever until he did his like stone from the chest like the, the mind flare didn't or yeah the great mind the hive mind didn't actually do anything so like just take one of them away and it shouldn't be a problem like like if you just destroy one of them because he was having such a hard time trying to get it in the first place. Um, yeah, trying to, trying to, it, it looked like it was a hard thing just to control with just the two of them. And until he did his like thing, it didn't work. <sighs> Which means it shouldn't be working right now. Anyways, besides that, like, Oh, quest line, because it's like, I guess once it's been given an order, it can't stop. But like, after that, like, you shouldn't be able to control them at all. Hmm. Anyways, yep, that was my little rant on that. And with that, have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, guys. And I will catch you guys next time, where we're going to go... I'm a, I don't know. We're going to explore. There was one place in the dark that we haven't explored yet, and I want to explore it. And yeah. So with that, bye guys.